Switzerland really offers a highly qualified workforce and a great network of leading universities. And ABB is partnering with several of them, for instance, ETH. We believe that Switzerland's own automation readiness and robot density is key to power up its attractiveness and competitiveness in the field of robotics. So we are a leader in industrial robotics, uh, everything from single robots really to complete systems. And we have delivered over half a million robots since 1974. We are active really in all different kinds of segments, automotive, electronics, food and beverage, um, logistics, healthcare. And we are a one-stop shop. So you get the robots, you get the application, the application cells, you get complete system, but also the digital tools that really supports it. And together with that, you also get our knowledge. So we are really active in all the segments that we work in. And that means we acquired a lot of application and segment knowledge that we also offer our customers. And the latest part in our portfolio is really our collaborative robots. So today we have the broadest offering of collaborative robots and they are called Cobots and they work side by side with people to help the automation. So sustainability also means optimization and improved productivity. So let me give you one example. Cars are being painted by robots and we have a solution with our robots called Pixel Paint. And with the help of that, 30% less paint can be used. And it also makes it much, much more safer for the people in the surrounding to use this solution. And we are seeing right now with Industry 4.0 and the need for more flexibility how you need to be much more agile in working in production. And with that also comes the digitalization. And the digitalization gives you the opportunity to really, in your whole production, see what is happening and taking actions out of that. So let me also give you another example from a company here in Switzerland called Presidé. They are doing really high quality contacts and they had increased their workforce with over 40% over three years. But then a really big order came. And in order to handle that, they then bought some collaborative robots, some of our Yumis. And with that, they could handle this big order and they could also keep the production here in Switzerland. For Switzerland, we can mention projects demonstrating our capabilities to support local customers in serving a global market. Schindler, one of the world's leading providers of elevators and escalators, has introduced a system that features an automated, independently operating robotic installation system for elevators. The company has selected an industrial robot made by ABB for this innovative world premiere and the Swiss engineering team was supporting Schindler with robotic knowledge during the project phase. We also support Wilco AG, a Swiss solution provider of leading inspection systems. Serving well-known brands in the pharmaceutical, biotech, diagnostic, medical device and packaging industry worldwide. A further great example is Andre Zutek, the leader in the area of high-quality laser welding systems for flat and round parts, where our robots are part of the equipment producing tailored blanks, tubular blanks, steel fuel tanks, and exhaust systems supplied globally to the automotive industry. And if we look upon it from a global point of view, a Nestle factory in Brazil really needed a compact robotic that would accurately load products and reducing the need for rework while also allowing staff to work safely around the robot. And for Nestle, it was really important to work with another global company because they maintain the production sites around the world and wants them service and support from around the world. So ABB has a really long and great history here in Switzerland and consequent of that is that we really have a great number of highly skilled people and really well equipped facilities. The geographical position is also great being really in the middle of Central Europe and Switzerland as a market really offers highly qualified workforce and really a great networking of leading universities that we are also partnering with several of them such as ETH. First and foremost we believe that Switzerland's own automation readiness and robot density is key to power up its attractiveness and competitiveness in the field of robotics. Switzerland ranks number 11 in Europe 
with a robot density of around 160 robots per 10,000 employees. Which per se might not be overly impressive, but we do see a steady growth and development upwards. In fact, this number has more than doubled within the last decade only and should probably be increased to stay competitive. In a global survey in January 2021 of 1,650 large and small businesses in Europe, the United States and China, 92% of businesses in Switzerland said they will introduce or increase the use of robotics and automation in the next decade. The global figure was 84%. Beside the classic factors such as clusters, research agreements, etc., it is important to further develop an environment which supports startup companies. These small firms can move fast, take risks and are willing to try out new leading edge technologies. We have a strong relationship with such companies or with vocational schools. Close partnerships are essential to be successful these days. Let me focus on three megatrends, and that is simplification, collaboration and digitalization. Simplification is becoming increasingly more important as automation and robotics spreads into new areas and also into new type of customers, and particularly into the SMEs. There are now customers who do not have people who have studied two years of robot programming, but wants to take the robots directly out of the box and get going immediately in their production. And for that, it needs to be the ease of use. So really simple robots that are easy to use. And with that comes the collaborative robot. These are really the cobots, the collaborative robots who works hand in hand and side by side by people without being in a fence in order also here to increase the productivity. The final trend is the whole area of digitalization. And that is a trend that started a long time ago, but it's really been accelerated through the COVID. So some examples of this is that we now do virtual commissioning, meaning we can get the robot started with our customer virtually. We also have remote monitoring where we are connecting the robots and making sure we can help to do predictive maintenance and get the overview of what's happening with the robots. Finally, with the digitalization, we have the whole area also with artificial intelligence and particular machine learning, which a lot of new ways can make the robots being even more useful in the production and continue to develop how we produce things. So in the end, we really see the trend of a more simple way of using the robots with more collaborative robots and taking full advantage of the digitalized world.